Hello class, magandang araw sa ating lahat. So for today, we will continue our third example in solving plane areas using integration involving parabolas. So, uh, recap lang natin sa glit, di ba? So, standard equation of parabolas natin, for example, if, if it is in concave upward, that is so x squared is equivalent to 4ay. If that is negative, that is concave downward. Di ba? So, magagamit natin ito mamaya. Next thing is, if it is concave to the right, that is y squared is equivalent to 4ax. If it is negative, that is concave to the left. Diba? Okay, so let us proceed sa ating example number 3. So here, find the area bounded by the parabola. y is equivalent to 6x minus x squared and y is equivalent to x squared minus 2x. So as you can see, we are dealing with two parabolas. Diba? So first thing that we need to do is to graph, di ba? Alam na dapat natin yung figure in order for us to know if vertical strip ba yung gagamitin natin or horizontal strip. So therefore, ang first thing na gagawin natin is isulat lang natin siya and label natin sino yung gagamitin natin as equation number one and sino din si equation number two. So ito yung gagamitin ko na equation number one and then this one is our graph number two or our equation number two. So tip lang, okay siya na, na magka-interchange yung pag-label mo. Dapat consistent ka lang. Okay? So pwede na ito yung equation number one mo and then ito din yung, yung equation number two. Okay? So erase ko lang, class. Yan. Yan. So next thing is, we must know the intersection between our two graphs or parabolas, di ba? Para malaman natin, yun yung gagamitin natin as lower limit and upper limit. So, in order for us to do that is to substitute one equation into the other one. So, luckily, so y is equivalent to something, something tayo and y is equivalent to something, something. So, therefore, we can equate these two. You know, dito na na siya class. So, therefore, ang, mga, ang mangyayari dito is 6x minus x squared is equivalent to x squared minus 2x. Ayan. Diba? Kasi equal silang dalawa. And the next thing that we need to do is to simplify this one. So, ilipat na lang natin lahat ng x squared to the right side. Ah, sorry, left side pala. Then yung x natin to the right side. Okay. So, gawin natin yan. Negative x squared minus x squared. Is equivalent to negative 2x minus 6x. Ayan. So, simplify lang natin, class. Negative 2x squared is equivalent to negative 8x. Okay? So, simplify natin, divided by natin both sides by negative 2x. Ayan. So, kulang siya. Lagyan natin ng divide. Divided by negative 2x. Ayan. Okay? So therefore, ang mangyayari dito is that x, no, cancel out, cancel out. So pa, para mas maganda class, ilagay na lang natin sa ilalim. Diba? So divided by negative 2x. And this one is also negative 2x. Ayan. Much better, no? So much pa, better pa. So cancel out, cancel out, cancel one, cancel this out, cancel out. How about this one? Cancel out natin to. Therefore, our x would be negative 8 divided by negative 2. So therefore, that would be 4. So, sir, anong, anong sagot natin? Isa lang, 4. So, take note class if we are dealing with x squared. So therefore, that is automatically dalawa yung roots niya. Diba? So therefore, automatic then na dapat meron tayong another root which is 0. Ayan, so yan yung mga common mistake nila. Sabi nila, isa lang yung root kasi 4 lang yung nakuha nila. But take note, 2 roots tayo kasi x squared or we are dealing with parabola. Okay? So therefore, we have x sub 1 and x sub 2. So proceed tayo. Meron na tayong uh, variables for our x. Then yung mga y na lang natin. Diba? So therefore, substitute natin. Let x, I think, ilalagay ko dito. Ayan. Dito na lang siguro. Let x is equivalent to 4. Substitute natin either sa dalawa. So, dito na lang sa ano, 
uh, equation number one natin ilalagay. So that would be y is equivalent to 6, then 4 minus uh, 4 squared. So simplify lang natin. 6 times 4 is, that is 24. Am I right? No, am I right? No? Tawa mo siguro. 12, 24. How about this one? Minus 4 squared, that would be 16. Diba? So therefore, 24 minus 16, that is equivalent to 8. Ayan po. So therefore, nakuha na natin yung first intersection between our two parabolas, which is 4 and 8. Okay, so continue na natin class. Ayan, leave at uh, 10. So let x is equivalent to 0 diba? for our second root. So therefore, y is equivalent to 6 multiplied by 0 minus 0 squared. Diba? So therefore, simplify lang natin that is obviously 0 and another 0. So 0 din yung y niya. So therefore, the second intersection is 0, 0, which is our origin. Okay? So to continue, we will graph this one kung saan sila nag-intersect. So first point of intersection is 4 and 8. So therefore, that would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this point, ayan po siya, 4, 8. The second intersection is the origin, which is 0 and 0. Okay, so graph natin class. The first thing is this one, yung equation number 1 natin or graph number 1. Take note kanina, meron tayo pinakita, di ba? Na general equation niya. So y is equivalent to negative x squared. If negative to x, that is Concave downwards. Ayan po. So, drawing natin siya. Concave downwards. So, how about this one? This is, this is y is equivalent to positive x squared. And that would be concave upwards. So, drawing lang natin siya. Okay? So, there you have it. Our drawing. So, proceed na po tayo in determining the area of this parabola. No? Area bounded between our two parabolas. Okay? So, to continue, kasi hindi na siya no, mag-fit sa ating screen. Next slide tayo. Ayan po. Okay? So, sulat ko lang ulit that this would be our first equation. Y is equivalent to 6x minus x squared. That this is our equation number 1. And next one is y is equivalent to x squared minus 2x. That would be our equation number 2. Okay? Erase lang natin. Ayan siya. Okay? So, continue. Uh, we will decide now ano yung gagamitin natin, vertical strip ba or horizontal strip. Again, in determining if horizontal or vertical strip, dapat po in any point, at any point, no, natatamaan yung dalawang equation natin or dalawang graph natin. So, lagyan natin to. This is our graph number one. Diba? This is concave downward. Ayan siya. And then, this one, would be our equation or graph number two, which is concave upwards. Ayan po. So therefore, try natin if we will be using our horizontal strip. Ayan. Now, if ilalagay natin siya dito, hindi matatamaan yung isa. Diba? How about this one? Diba? Kasi i-run through natin yung strip na yan. Diba? So, meron tayong mga points or mga area ng graph na hindi natatamaan si equation number 1 or is equation number 2. So, therefore, try natin si vertical strip. So, as you can see, kahit saan natin ilagay si vertical strip, natatamaan yung talawang graph natin. Diba? So, therefore, we will be using vertical strip. So, lagay natin dito yung representation ng vertical strip. So therefore, this is our y and this is a lead, um, napakaliit na measurement which is our dx. Okay, so proceed tayo in determining our area. That is equivalent to the area of our strip which is y times dx. And then gagamitan natin, di ba, from lower limit which is this one to the left side. Do. Strip, 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 maraming strip yan, a combination of all the strips coming from the left side, papuntang right side. Diba? So, the summation of that strips would be the operation which is integration. 
So therefore, that is lower limit natin, di ba? Take note, this is dx. So therefore, we will be using our x na point. So that would be 0. And to the other side, this is 4 and 8. We will be using our x na point, which is 4. So there you have it, di ba? The formula in determining the area of this figure or the area bounded by these two parabolas. So continue lang po natin, take note, we need to define our y na dapat involve si equation number one and equation number two. And then for this one is our x-axis. So lalagyan natin siya ng measurement. First one is, ayan po. So coming from our first equation, no, representative na strip, papunta sa ating x-axis, that would be our y sub 1. Diba? And how about this one? Papunta sa ating x-axis, that would be our x, our, sorry, y sub 2. Diba? So take note, dapat consistent ka lang, this is our equation number 1, therefore y sub 1. This is our equation or parabola number 2, so y sub 2. So therefore, if ma-change mo yung pag-naming mo, this is our 2, this is the 1, Diba? So, 2 and 1 then yung naming mo. Okay? So, continue lang tayo. How can you solve for y that is y sub 1 no, yung mataas minus yung maliit. Diba? Y sub 2. So, therefore, rewrite lang natin siya. Area is equivalent to the integration of y sub 1 minus y sub 2. Yeah. Yan po. So, malapit na tayong matapos. Lagyan natin ng lower limit and upper limit. So, next thing that we need to do is to label this one. This is our y sub 1 and y sub 2. Sakto po, nakaform na siya rin to ganyan. Diba? So, substitution na lang yung gagawin natin. So, rewrite lang po natin. 0 to 4. y sub 1 natin is 6x minus x squared minus po. Now, open parenthesis. Ibahin natin to. Ayan. Then, y sub 2 is x squared minus 2x. Ayan. Talagyan natin ng close parenthesis. Huwag kalimutan si dx. Okay? So, therefore, tapos na tayo sa ating general equation ng at or equation mismo in determining the area of this one. Ang gagawin na lang natin is this is a definite integral. Diba? So, I-evaluate na lang po natin to, then tapos na tayo. Diba? So, area is equivalent to the integration. Simplify po muna natin. That would be, uh, open parenthesis, 6x. Then this would be, ay, lalagyan na na natin. 6x minus x squared. Sa uh, distribute natin si negative sign, this would be negative x squared and positive 2x. Okay, another line for our simplification. Ayan, simplify lang natin siya. A is equivalent to the integration 0 to 4. And then, lagay natin negative, negative, magiging negative 2x squared. And how about this one? Magiging plus 8x dx. Ayan po. So, I think we're ready na in integrating this one. Kayang-kaya no? na natin yung i-integrate. So therefore, ang gagawin natin would be area is equivalent to the integration of negative 2x squared. So sulat lang natin, integration of x to the power of n dx. Diba? This is power rule, kumbaga. x n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Okay, so we write lang natin. No? Ayan siya. So therefore, this is negative 2. Ilagay natin that is our constant. And then squared natin, di ba? So plus 1. So divided by 3 over 3. And then how about this one? Plus 8. And then what is the integration of x? Magiging x squared divided by 2. Yan. Rewrite lang natin. Divided by 2. So close. Then... Uh, lalagyan natin ng from lower limit which is 0 upper limit natin which is 4 diba? Ayan, so to continue uh, substitution na lang yung gagawin natin class diba? so that is, is, is equivalent to negative 2 substitute natin lahat si upper limit minus substitute natin lahat si lower limit so 
negative 2, this would be 4 cubed divided by 3 and plus 8, then 4 squared divided by 2. Then minus, substitute natin sa lower limit, negative 2, then 0 to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus 0, uh, that is 8, sorry, then 0 squared divided by 2, close parenthesis. Okay, so ang gagawin na lang natin is to use our calculators. So keep natin yan, lagay natin kay calculator. So open parenthesis, this would be negative and then 2 multiplied by 4 cubed divided by 3. And then plus uh, 8 times 4 squared and then divided by 2. Tapos, continue na natin class. This is minus. Probably, no? As you can see, 0 na yan sa lahat. Pero sige lang, in, in, input lang natin siya. But I think that is obviously 0 lahat. Diba? Sige lang, ilagay lang natin. Diba? Para panigurado. Kumbaga. Diba? So, 2 multiplied by 0. Then, to the power of 3. Tapos, divided by 3. And then, plus 8. Uh, yan. Multiplied natin by 0 squared. Po, para sure, jud ba? <laughs> then, yan. So, that is equivalent to 21.3. etc. So, therefore, this is the area bounded by our two parabolas. So, ang last natin gagawin is ilalagay yung ating final answer, which is equivalent to 21. Yeah, sorry. Ano ba yan? Yan, 21.333. So, round off lang natin. No? So, therefore, this is approximate, approximately 21.333 square units. So as you can see, wala naman siyang binigay if meter ba, inches, feet, so therefore square units. Ayan. So I think that's it. Thank you for listening. I hope that you have learned something for this day. Goodbye.